Hi, my name is Beth and I'm a sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. In today's video, I'm going to give you 10 tips for using less fabric. These are going to be tips that will help you maximize your fabric usage so that you can use less and get more use out of your yardage. Let's dive right in. My first tip is that it's okay to ignore the cutting diagrams. Those cutting diagrams are usually built for a variety of sizes and sometimes for multiple widths of fabric. You know, fabric comes in a lot of different widths, anywhere from like 36 to 45 inches or 52 inches to 60, and some, sometimes even 72 inches wide. So depending on the width of your fabric and the size that you're making, you may be able to get your cutting layout a little tighter and use less fabric than the diagram re recommends. So my second tip is related to that, and it is that you do not have to fold your fabric right in the middle. When I started out sewing, I think all the cutting diagrams that I'd ever seen folded the fabric right in the middle and then you cut from there. But you don't want to cut your pattern piece out right from the middle of the fabric if you're not going to be using the stuff on the edges. So I recommend folding your fabric just enough to fit your pattern pieces on. And then that way you know that you're using your fabric to the maximum. Sometimes you can even fold the fabric twice. So fold it a little bit one way and then a lot the other way. And you can like put your bodice pieces on the narrow edge and your skirt pieces on the bigger folded edge. There are a lot of ways that you can fold the fabric that isn't exactly in the middle and will help you improve your fabric usage. My third tip is to put your pattern pieces all the way to the edge. I will even go so far as to put my pattern pieces a little bit into the selvage. If it's going to be a corner or just an edge of the seam allowance that's going to get cut off or it's not visible, I think it's totally okay to include a little bit of the selvage. Sometimes the selvage is really bulky and you, if you can anticipate that it would bother you or it's not going to be cut away later, then don't go all the way to the edge. But that's one of my cheater ways to maximize my fabric. Tip number four is to cut your fabric in a single layer. So sometimes you can get your maximum usage with your fabric folded. Other times you wanna lay it out flat and cut in a single layer. This particularly works well if you're cutting really big skirts or very flowy trousers that are very large pattern pieces. If you're running out of your fashion fabric, you can use another fabric to cut out your facings or pocket bags. For those pieces, I recommend using a fabric that is the same weight as your exterior or fashion fabric, or just a little bit lighter. Especially with pockets, it can sometimes be nice to use a fabric that's a little lighter than your exterior fabric to reduce the bulk. Tip number six may seem obvious, but I thought I would mention it just in case. So if you are cutting out two pieces from your pattern piece, two mirrored images, it's okay to flip your pattern piece upside down. You're gonna get those same mirror images whether that pattern piece is right side up or right side down. And leading into tip number seven, if your fabric is not directional, you can also rotate your pattern pieces 180 degrees. Directional means that you would have a print that's obvious whether the print is right side up or right side down. So if you do not have a directional print or a nap like velvet or corduroy, you can rotate those pattern pieces and often squeeze them in and get a better cutting layout. Tip number eight is that sometimes it's okay to rotate your pattern piece 90 degrees. So this will work best if you're using a pattern for woven fabrics or for a pattern that does not require stretch in the fabric. If your pattern requires stretch, for example, if it's a bodysuit or swimsuit, something that is fitted to the body, you're gonna need to be really careful because you cut the pattern with the greatest amount of stretch going around the body. So if you rotate it, your fabric might not have enough stretch. So just be really careful if you're sewing something with stretch. Um, for example, I have cut 
knit neck bands before going on the crosswise grain and then realized that they were not going to stretch enough to sew into a t-shirt. So sometimes you can get away with cutting on the 90 degree, but not always be careful when you're sewing with stretch. Tip number nine is for those of you who are savvy with graphic layer programs. If you can use Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape, something like that, and you can open your digital pattern in those programs, you can make your own cutting layout before you go to cut your fabric. This is something that I have done on occasion when I know that I have only, you know, a little bit of fabric and I want to get all those pattern pieces in there instead of printing them all out and putting it on the fabric, I do it digitally first. And this especially works if you are using a projector for sewing, um, but I found it really handy just to try it out in my computer. You know, I just measure my fabric and then make an artboard in Illustrator the size of my fabric and move the pattern pieces around to see how well they fit. And then I can also look at how much fabric there is and decide, Oh, you know, if I just shorten the skirt two inches or I shorten the sleeve and everything will fit or I can look at it and realize like, oh, actually I have enough fabric. I can lengthen my skirt six inches and I will use my maximum amount of fabric and not have a ton of scraps. So that's a fun way to just maximize your usage, either if you have a little bit of fabric or if you're trying to use your fabric to the maximum and minimize your scraps. If you're drafting your own pattern or using a pattern where you have to add your own seam allowance, you can consider using a smaller seam allowance. There are a lot of benefits to a larger seam allowance, namely that you can adjust the fit, but there are certain pattern pieces that don't need a large seam allowance and you won't be changing if you alter the fit. For example, a collar or a patch pocket, you don't need say a 5 8 inch seam allowance. You could cut it down to a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. You know, anywhere where you're going to be trimming that seam allowance anyway, like a neckline, you can make that seam allowance a little bit smaller and save a little bit of fabric. Okay, I have one bonus tip. And again, this is for if you're trying to squeeze your pattern into a smaller amount of fabric, or if you're trying to maximize how much fabric you have and reduce your scraps, you can adjust the ease of a pattern. So this is gonna work really well on a pattern that has gathers, for example, or an oversized style. So I was recently working on trying to fit a pattern into a smaller piece of fabric and my sleeve pattern was really big and not really fitting. So I shortened it and that wasn't quite enough. It was still really wide, but there were a lot of gathers in the shoulder. So I just reduced that by enough to get it to fit on my fabric. So it's not gonna change the style significantly, but I'm still gonna be able to cut it out of that fabric. So this is a really easy thing to do, for example, with a gathered skirt. You can just make your pattern pieces bigger and have a fuller skirt and maximize your fabric usage. Or if you're running low on fabric, you can reduce the ease or reduce the amount of gathering, just pinch out um, some of that excess to make your pattern fit the amount of fabric that you have. Well, I hope that all those tips were helpful for you. If you have tips on how to maximize your fabric usage, let me know in the comments. And if you like the video, I invite you to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, I would be so honored if you hit the subscribe button below. To support the channel, you can buy me a coffee or visit the pattern shop, and there are links to that down in the show notes. Happy sewing. Mm -hmm.